Today, folks, believe it or not, we are going to teach all of you how to juggle. How many of you believe that at the end of this 45 minutes to an hour, you'll be juggling three balls? Raise your hand if How you think believe? you'll be juggling okay. three balls. We, that's about 25% believers. A lot of people, when we do these uh, sessions, they think there's no way in an hour's time we're going to be juggling. This is going to be a hands-on workshop. Mm -hmm. We're all going to be up and moving and helping each other out. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to start with one ball. All right. Now, this may seem a little simple or elementary to some of you. Um, unfortunately, it might be kind of tricky for some of you, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you'll be the ones we'll have to work with. It was a lot of fun. I figure if you guys can teach me to juggle, I can learn just about anything at this point. You people have been given a lot of goals that may seem very difficult to achieve. And one of the points of this juggling exercise is to realize that sometimes it's a big leap from where you are to where you want to go. Sure. But if you take one step at a time, each of the steps is quite simple. And if you know the step that you need to take to get one step further, and you do that, and then you take the next step, and then the next step, before you know it, you've reached the goal. It's great. It's very exciting. It's motivating. You can, uh, kind of tie in the uh, juggling of multiple activities and the day-to-day -day challenges in with something that's fun and uh, gets people up out of their chairs. Two objects is the key. This is the big maneuver. This is where the whole secret lies. It's, it's fun. It's, it's fun. It's fun that it makes way. you feel like a juggler. But, <laughs> but yeah. Right, left, right, stop. Hand the ball across. Right, left, right. Pick the ball up. <laughs> <laughs> or balls. Pick the balls sure. up. Right, left, right, stop. That's what we're shooting for right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's exciting. Isn't it? but it's hard to hold back. Now you see how we got sucked into it. I know. <laughs> you may also realize that by now you've probably done a couple hundred lunges. Yeah. <laughs> you'll and be, you'll be squats, it tomorrow. Yeah, squats and lunges. And good exercise. Yeah. Very good exercise for you. You don't see a lot of overweight jugglers. No. And that Partially that's just because they can't afford to eat. Well, that's yeah, really... That's, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, that's part of it, right. but also yeah. the exercise. It's also great for uh, relieving stress, mm -hmm. and really, this is a perfect way to take a little five or ten minute break, even in your day. A lot of people uh, have the juggling balls at their office, and you know, when they've had enough of staring at their computer or something. You stand up and in a small amount of space and without disturbing people, it's a fun activity to do for five or ten minutes to loosen up and, and just relax a little bit. We'll learn the steps and it will be obvious that you're going to have to probably put in a little more time on your own. Several it, years. It's a <laughs> I thought it was phenomenal, something I've never experienced before. Actually, I was uh, very doubtful that I could juggle two balls, let alone three, but I actually was able to accomplish that. Well, we could have had Mr. Traditional Inspirational Speaker, or we could have had Passing Zone. How about hearing for Passing Zone? Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you very much. I think it's a great deal and, and it works well with the company.